Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. <coughs> Oliver is just literally sitting over there with his iPad and you might hear the iPad and him coughing. But anyway, today I'm not going to vlog because I've been vlogging loads and I just want to do a sit down video. As you can tell the background is a little bit different. This big long mirror that was on the floor is now on the wall because Tom wants it on the wall. So it does look nice on the wall I must admit. And the room has slightly been moved um, because the TV was like literally, I'll show you, the TV was under the window which is just blocking all of our light and it was just kind of rubbish so we moved it. But anyway, I will show that in this video that it's been moved and what has changed slightly but I'm just going to sit down, have a little chat. I've just put a little bit of makeup on today because I really can't be bothered. So yeah, I'm just going to sit down, have a little chat and tidy my makeup because my makeup and my makeup drawers are absolutely filthy and I believe I have way too much makeup that I really don't even need and I don't even use. So I'm just going to sit down with you and just tidy through my makeup because it needs to be done. But yeah, I just have, I honestly have way too much stuff. I should show you, shouldn't I? I just turned the camera around to show you this makeup and the mess and everything I've got to work with. All these drawers are full. This is literally full of makeup, palettes, stuff that just needs to be clean. This drawer's full and then it's got like loads and loads of boxes and just rubbish and nails that I don't even need. So, I'm hoping I'm at a good angle. I hope you can see me alright. But yeah, I'm just going to sit down with you, have a little chat and that is it. But before I do carry on, I just want to say what's on my face quickly, just in case anyone wants to know. And this makeup is slightly natural, and I could always do a video on this. It's really quick and easy. So the foundation that I went in with, obviously, is the Maybelline New York Full Coverage Matte Foundation, which I absolutely love. And it, I do find it really hard to try any other foundation, because this is just beautiful. It's so flawless on the skin. It's matte. It lasts all day and the colour is beautiful and it doesn't oxidise which is really good in a foundation and then I've just gone in with this cheap powder here today which is the collection press powder which I really like that was just to set the foundation hang on I've jumped ahead so the foundation the concealer underneath the eyes and on a few spots the collection press powder and then I went in with this sleep palette which is literally had it I just went in with these two bronzer shades. Went in with the MAC. It's actually a blush, but I use it as a highlighter because it's it's literally, <coughs> you know, I scrape my nail in it. It's so beautiful on the skin. Yeah, I just love that. And then I went in with the Benefit blush, which is a really nice corally pinky peach. And then I went in with the Thick Fast, Soap and Glory Mascara, that's the one. But I did curl them before because my own lashes are really, really rubbish. And then, then I went in with the NYX um, Liquid Matte Lipstick in Kitten Heels. It's, I've talked about this red so much, but I literally love this red. It's matte. It's beautiful, it's so bright, it's like a luminous, it's gorgeous. I'm going to buy another one as well because I like to wear red closer up to Christmas. Um, and then I took this Maybelline New York, it's actually, oh no, it, yeah, it's an eyeliner. Um, but I don't use it as an eyeliner, I literally just go over any spots like this under here. You wouldn't believe that that spot there is huge. It took me probably about 15 minutes last night, about another 10 this morning. To... <coughs> you alright darling? To try and pop it. It was awful. Um, and then I had to get a pin. So if you can't pop a spot, you've got to be really careful. Um, a spot, then I do just take a pin. I literally jabbed it and then it came out. And then I put my spot cream on from the doctors, which is really good. And then I just literally put a dot over this over the spot and then I take my beauty blender and then I literally just dab it just to make it look a little bit more natural. That is all that's on my face today. Very minimal, very natural. 
apart from the lip, it's quite bold, but then when I've got like hardly anything on my eyes, I really love like quite a bold lip. And clean this makeup. I know it's gonna take forever because there's so much. There's a lot of stuff that I might get rid of because I just feel like I've got way too much and I'm not gonna use it. So I'm gonna sort through that with you. Literally love my bun today. I like how high it is. If you ever get them days where literally I got up out of bed and I just tied my hair up, that's all I've done. And then I've sat down on my makeup and I literally just pulled my bun. Then I loved how it sat and I just clipped it. Like I haven't even taken it out from when I woke up or brushed or anything. Now when I want to get this hairstyle again, it won't be that easy to get. That's always the way. But anyway, I've got some wipes here and I'm going to be sorting out my makeup. <coughs> So my sister's going to be happy because there's going to be a, a probably, if you're watching Chloe, there probably is going to be a lot of makeup coming your way, girl. A lot. <laughs> because I, I literally just have way too much in these drawers. Like, packets of nails like this. Why ain't it in the recycling, girl? Why is it in your drawers? Like, come on, Lauren. A minute ago, I literally just got off to get some wipes. Right next to me. There's a big packet of wipes. Annoying. This is a lot. How's everyone been? Is everyone excited for Christmas? I'm excited for Christmas. But I haven't got a lot of presents. I haven't bought a lot yet, which I know I need to do. And what is it, like the 10th today or something like that? So I need to start being a little bit more organised. I kept saying to myself, oh, I know, I know. Like, I know I need to start now. I need to get something now. And then I'm like, but if I get it now, I'm probably going to give it to Ollie or I'm going to give it to someone. And then I left it so late and I'm just like, I don't have nothing. Does anyone do that? So next year, my goal is to be a hell of a lot more organised because it is so annoying to not be organised and then to be skin. It's so fun. It's great, isn't it? We all love being skin. Not. But yeah, I am excited. It's going to be a very different for me this year just because I'm normally with my mum and dad, my parents, so this is probably one of those. Yeah, this is my first Christmas without my mum and dad and my sisters, which is gonna be different, but it's gonna be nice. Um, I think I am gonna see my mum and dad on, I'm gonna try my best to see them on Christmas Eve just to get all my presents up there to them. Um, and get all that side, the presents up there. And I might do a drop off at my nan and granddad's as well. Yeah, it's bad. Makeup gets messy, right? It gets really messy. And it is really, really messy in this drawer. Right. So I'm back. I filmed about, probably about an hour ago, but I've sorted loads of my makeup out, all the stuff that I don't really need or don't use. I've bagged up and I'll give to my sister. So I've cleaned out a lot already so I've got all my foundations in here so I literally have two foundations now uh, two three foundations which I also I don't know if I've mentioned before but I love the L'Oreal true match and these are brilliant and there's so many different shades so and I've cleaned out all the little palettes as well as putting everything back and wiping everything over I'm going to clean my brushes again today as well just because um when I'm spotty and I use all my makeup brushes and stuff like that that will spread it and make my skin more spotty so it will just spread germs around my face so I'm definitely definitely going to clean my brushes but yeah I've given a lot of weight to my sister because I know I just won't use it and it'll just be a waste and it'll just sit there I have got Oliver playing in the background over there with his motorbike and I've got both dogs upstairs running about I've wiped all my palettes down so I'll just show you actually so there's all my palettes all organised in there and all cleaned. Then I have this drawer, that shouldn't be in there, full of like my skincare and a few hair products. This one, I don't know what I'm going to put in. It's got my beauty blenders, my Morphe palette and my hairbrush in at the moment. But I'm sure I'll find something to put in there. So Also, I've got this really cute holder that holds all the cotton pads and this was from Primark, I believe. And I love this little drawery box I've got. It is covered in makeup. I need to give that a clean. It's got a little mirror in it. All my jewellery. And I love that. And I keep my number seven mirror on there with the little light. That needs cleaning as well. Everything does. I'll just keep that on that and work on that. Like my makeup there. Thing in the world 
is the limited edition frosted winter berries and it smells so freaking good oh it makes me so happy the lighting's not very good here is it so hello everyone i have now finished cleaning my room and it looks so much better i've just cleaned all in here so i've cleaned all in there i'm not going to show you ollie's room because it's absolutely horrendous and that's going to take a good two hours to clean i think because he just trashed it the other night so i'm just going to show you my room now so this is how we've set it out now so we've still got the bed in the same place but we've put the chest of drawers here with the tv there because that was right in front of the window but it was blocking all the light and everything and we've got really nice long window so it's nice to actually see them now it smells so christmasy in here so we've got the mirror up here, got a little desk, little unit, that unit there, and that unit I am going to be getting rid of because I just don't want it, I just, I, we don't need it. So I've cleaned all through my makeup and cleaned everything out, it smells like so much better, got my hair dryer and my ring light just there, and then I've got a nice view out the window, but these curtains are going as well because I hate these curtains. But the mirror is now on the wall. Pictures there are still the same. And so is the units as well. I think that looks better. Are you on your bed? It's her bed as well. Oh, yeah. So whose room's messy now? Look at him with all of his stuff. You're going to fix, are you? Yeah. What are you going to fix? What do you need fixing? Um, your room. Because your room looks like a bomb. Now I'm downstairs and I'm going to make me and Oliver some lunch. Oliver's going to have some sausage rolls and I'm going to have a tuna sandwich. So something a little bit different today. my channel and today I haven't picked up the camera till now just because Hello. I've literally been on the go since oh, I've got up and got dressed yeah. I have well I'll tell you what I've done I've got up I gave Ollie his breakfast the dogs their breakfast um, I had a hot drink and then I went upstairs and I did all my makeup got Ollie dressed and then I deep cleaned my room again like the dust or hoovering and sorting out my drawers and I took all the bedding off and I put it all in the washing machine and I put that on a really hot wash to clean all my bedding. Ollie's I did not too long ago so his is fine at the minute, he pretty much sleeps with me anyway. Um, and then Ollie's room was a bomb site, all the toys were just literally in the middle of the room piled up so I've gone through all of his toys, cleaned them all, dusted and hoovered all of his room and then in the corner of Ollie's room because it's like a weird shape, I have the inner corner for my clothes. So I just hung all my clothes up, any ones that I've just chucked there and stuff like that. I've done two loads of washing already and then I've got the bedding in, but I know for a fact the bedding's going to take a lot longer on a hotter wash. And I've literally, I've done the worst thing and I really don't like, it's, it's the worst thing for me to do, I really don't enjoy it. And I love cleaning, but I hate hoovering the stairs. Has anyone else, especially when you've got a heavy hoover and you've got a lug up the stairs, it is just not fun. And because I have a black dog or dog in general, I've literally done all the way up onto the white thing, I've hoovered all that, hoovered all the stairs in the little gaps and I've hoovered all the banister all the way up and up there just because all of Lola's hair gets on there and it's disgusting so I hoover all that and then in a minute I'm going to go over with some Dettol and just clean it all as well. Um, what's he doing? What are you doing sir? Oh, I what I was saying, I just had to deal with Oliver because he wanted some raisins. Before I did all of the bedrooms and they're changing the bed and like hoovering the stairs, this morning while Ollie was eating his breakfast, I literally went outside, it's gross I know, I picked up all the dog mess um, and I boiled the kettle I think twice or three times and I put all this Dettol, I'll show you actually, I put all Dettol all over my patio because obviously I've got dogs that go on the grass and 
they could step into something or in general they just go on the grass and they bring mud and leaves and dirt so I put some of this on the patio and I literally buff that in really quite thoroughly Lola really quite thoroughly with the broom and then I give it a few minutes and then I'll take the boiling hot water and I'll splash it all over my patio and then I'll repeat it again just because I think patio is quite important to keep it clean if there was any way of cleaning the grass I probably would as well but I have deep cleaned my patio this morning so it's all clean and I have deep cleaned all of Hugo's cage that I do every single day and then I've put I found a pillow an old pillow that we don't use so I put the pillow there and then the cover on top so it's got a nice clean little bed and then them two plain what are you doing you've got your raisins and I've dusted and cleaned in here and I've scrubbed the mat and I've cleaned doesn't look like it because you've been jumping all over it. I've cleaned all of the sofas, so I've sephoraed them um, with my comfort. I've just covered them and I've just scrubbed them and I've fluffed up the pillows and stuff. I've dusted all the windowsill. So, this speaker just here used to be here and then the TV used to be sort of further over here and I didn't like it, so I've swapped it and put it in the middle. Does that look better? I think that looks better. So I've done that instead. And I've just dusted all of that. I've cleaned all Ollie's chair. There's the tree, there's Elf, and there's them playing. And yeah. Do it now. Well, tell them what you'd like for lunch. Rice. We want some rice. So we're going to put it in our little rice machine here. This is we? the little rice machine. I know it's not a great angle. And I'm going to pop two rice in here. So we've just got this bag here, and I'm just going to undo it. it. Yeah, hang on, I'll put under it first. Right, and I'm going to get one to tip it in there. And then I'll link to show the camera. What? Tip it in. One, two, three. Carefully, carefully, carefully. Carefully. Oh, God. Let go. The mummy did a bit. And then you literally tip your rice in there like that. You actually just put one of these bags. You don't have to use the bags, but that's all I've got in rice at the moment just then. So I put that in there, and then I put two cups of a good size cup like this. Just two of them. Yeah, now, Ollie, can you pop the lid on? Pop the lid on. It's really easy. And there's a little switch on the back, and I'm just going to turn that on. And Ollie, I want you to push the switch down on to cook for me. Okay, that one. No, push this metal thing down. Like that. And now it's on cook. And when this is finished, which is probably in about 20 minutes, it will go on to warm and it will keep it warm. And that is how easy it is. I'm making for lunch is Rivitas, and these are in the, the flavour original. I'm just going to have some of these with some sliced avocado which i buy the one from iceland's and it's a frozen pack which is great and i think there was about five or six in there it was about three pounds so it was really good you just take out what you need that day pack the rest away and then yeah it's brilliant because i know you can keep an avocado get it from the shop you can get an avocado from a shop and it doesn't last very long if you don't need it straight away so freezing them is a great idea you can even buy them and freeze them yourself but i just bought the ones from iceland's and then I'm going to put some soft cheese with it, which this is exactly like the Philadelphia. This is just a cheaper version from Lidl's, which tastes just as good. Honestly, I love this together. And that's what I'm going to have for my lunch. I literally just made my lunch on the Rye Vita with the cream, cheese, the avocado, and I've put black pepper and pink Himalayan salt on it as well. And I'm going to sit here and enjoy this for my lunch.